Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Coffee Hound, and welcome back to episode two of my series, Marooned, using the Feed the Beast Horizons Daybreaker mod pack available on the Feed the Beast launcher. And so, personal log day. Well, I'm not sure what day it is. I think it's been about a week since I last made a log. I've been busy trying to survive on this new planet. I knew that this planet was going to have a dark side. There are some strange creatures living here that mostly come out at night. Mostly. There are three creatures I would classify as major threats that I have run into so far. First, there's a green-skinned humanoid that is a carnivore. It seems to have a very good sense of smell, as it can track me from quite a ways away. Not so dangerous by itself, but it can be terrifying and deadly in groups. The second is also a humanoid, but, but seems to be a tool user. Gone to the point of skeletal, it uses, and I presume builds, a crude bow and arrow. Both of these seem to be quite sensitive to sunlight, and are rarely seen during the day. The third can only have been deliberately designed as a weapon. Silent and deadly, they creep up, on, creep, creep up to you and explode. They almost seem to home in on me. Have I stumbled into a secret testing grounds? If so, will I be allowed to leave? Regardless, I need to put up my defenses against these creatures. I may also have to set up shelter away from my life pod. And actually, I've already done so. Ah, goodness gracious. I have gone ahead and set up a, a house away from my life pod. And have started tearing down my life pod in an effort to salvage some, salvage what I can, quite frankly. Uh, there is some, the, the windscreen on the front of the life pod was made of some fairly tough glass. And I think that these, these lockers that were in, in the ship can be of use. And perhaps I can find some use for the hull materials. Anyway, so let's go ahead and see what we have that I can go ahead and take over to the ship. Uh, let's see. Let's take some of these items here. I'm going to need fuel for the for some of this stuff. Uh, do, 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 do. And we need some sand, some sandstone. I think we can live without that for the moment. Uh, let's see. Oh yes, found some interesting gems in the in the core of that tree that I cut down. Huge tree. Uh, we got plenty of leather. Found that the the hides of that green screen, green skin creature is makes a very very good hide. I know, I know, that's kind of grim. And, well, terrible, but we're surviving here. Uh, more sand. I think we can use that. Some charcoal for fuel and some coal for fuel. Oh yes, we need my control circuits, osmium. I've got a few things that I'm going to be setting up, including some power and some and some some ore processing capabilities. So let's go ahead. You can see my new house in the background here. Oh, there's one of those creatures. They seem to sit in the dark and growl at you during the day. Uh, let's see. As you can see, I have salvaged. Yeah, there we go. Salvaged some of the lights out of the out of the escape pod, and one of the uh, I I salvaged uh, my computer out of there and one of the lockers also have uh, yes 
I've actually made two or made one uh, power item. Uh, this is called a quantum entropy accelerator. It it pretty much takes anything and well turns it into power. Doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't matter how complicated or how well how energetic it might be. If it gives the same amount of power, whether it's a piece of sand, which gives. 400 R redstone flux, or a piece of coal, which gives 400 redstone flux. Boom. I could throw a diamond in there. In there, It would be 400 redstone flux. So, it makes for a good garbage can and, well, a nice little power system. Let's see. We'll go ahead and throw down the survivalist generator also, because that's useful. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have clipped the... Yes, I think I'm going to go underneath for the power conduits. Oh, let's see. There. There. I'm going to have to cut this out. I got a little decorative with the floor, though, because, let's face it, if I'm going to be living here, I might as well make it look nice. Okay, there, oops. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. 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 Somewhere around here, I have another... I would have sworn I had eight of those. Okay, let's take a look. Ah, there they are. There's the other three. Alright, so we'll go ahead and... Okay, ah yes, there's my metallurgic infuser. And I was going to make another machine you know I actually didn't need to do that that's silly ah. I just realized I have no need to do that so I can go ahead and take those out Okay, let's see here. Boom. Boom. And... Boom. And then... run the power conduit here. This is just a temporary measure until I get some, get a larger building. Probably going to expand out here because if you've noticed the shape of the house, it looks really kind of weird. I mean, yeah. Let's take a look at that. That, I mean, from this angle, that looks pretty cool. Well, that, from that angle, it looks pretty good. Or from over here. That looks pretty good. Like, hey, there's a little addition on the side of the house. But if you look, and if you look at it from that angle, that's not bad. However, looking at it from over... Here, it looks like half a house. So yeah, we're gonna have to fix that. Looks like I need to move along too. All right, 
so let's go ahead and put our cables back in there and I believe I was going to make there we go an enrichment chamber so I need some steel casing right I'm going to make some steel ingots which was the reason I made this so I need one two three four and uh, let's do the charcoal one two three four five six seven eight because we're gonna have to run this through twice in order to get steel dust instead of enriched iron okay so while that's going let's go ahead and make sure we have everything else okay i have the two control circuits I have iron, I have... Do I have redstone? Hmm, do I have redstone on me? Oh dear. I hope that's... Ooh. Huh. And run that through again. All right, I left the redstone over in my escape pod, and sun's going down. So let's head back on over. As you can see, the I've had some run-ins with these green things, what we're calling creepers. And I believe I put no. Oh, oh whoops. Nope, there's those. Okay. Nope. Aha, there's my redstone. And rubies and indium ore bushes. Yes, and my stuff and my rope ladder and my sidearm. Maybe I can even. Oh dear. I may have to just. I'm going to go ahead and sleep. Oh, nope, not right now. We'll just sleep here in the middle of the wilderness. And I'm going to have a little drink of tea. Hmm. Ice tea. Good stuff. Normally I'd be drinking coffee, but hey, it's hot. I don't want to have hot coffee on a hot day. Even this evening is kind of hot. So, anyway. Right. Okay, there's our steel dust. So let's go ahead and cook that up and we will have ourselves one of my favorite objects and one of my favorite uh, mod packs mechanism we will have the enrichment chamber which will actually allow me to double my ore output there is a method to my madness oh yes I need to do that Oh, wait, I should probably do that. Uh, actually, no, it won't matter. I don't have any unprocessed logs. Oh, well. oh wait, yes, no, those don't turn into duck on it. Okay. Oh. oh, we ran out of stuff. Okay, we'll go ahead and plant these indium bushes here. I'm not sure what indium's for, but we'll find out. It looks useful. Another one bites the dust. Weird. Hmm, I wonder what that does. Okay, and then we have something else we can burn for power. Yes, anyway, it makes a good, it makes a great garbage disposal. Alright, I need one osmium ingot. Boom, 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 boom. There's my steel casing. Um, right. Right, okay, yes. And 
control circuits and redstone. Control circuits are also made in the uh, the uh, it, uh, not the enrichment chamber, the metallurgic infuser by combining iron and redstone. You can make quite a few things using the metallurgic infuser, including later on uh, I can use uh, ground obsidian along with diamond to make obsidian ingots, which, well, and another machine called the osmium compressor. So, actually, diamonds, diamonds, uh, pulverized redstone, or uh, obsidian and osmium to make osmium, or uh, obsidian, not osmium, obsidian ingots, which makes some really, really, really powerful armor. Um, one of the toughest armors in this mod pack as well as one of the best non-powered tools in the game. However, the mechanism has a couple of other really cool things that are available. Um, I mean, let's face it. Let's take a look. Mechanism. Well, first of all, my favorite, the digital miner. No more crawling around underground unless you want to explore the explore dungeons and ruins. Um, all kinds of ore processing, all the way up to quintupling your ore output. Uh, we'll have to make an energized smelter a little later. Uh, this is an electric pump, a uh, charging pad. Yeah, let's see, but electrolytic separator. Oh, come on. Let's see, tanks, which I need to get, make some of. Uh, I can fill in areas with water, with fluid plenisher, which is kind of cool. Lasers. <laughs> this thing I call a laser. <laughs> uh, anyway. However, the, and of course, basic energy cubes and all that fun stuff. However, the most fun we have are two, well, two things. The Atomic Disassembler, which is the multi-tool that does, that's the, probably the fastest manual mining method out there. Uh, the Robot, which, well, follows you around, picks stuff up, can smelt ores for you, but only does, does one ore, one, one ingot per ore. But my favorite, is, well, whoops, not that one, is, where is it, where is it, it was in here, it is the flamethrower. Now I have a flamethrower. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> it sets creepers on, fly, on fire. It sets all kinds of things on fire and you can mine mine ores with it it'll smelt ores as you mine it's cool it's awesome it runs on hydrogen <laughs> all right anyway I'll, I'll i'll stop cackling madly about about um, about setting things on fire wouldn't want anybody to think that i'm insane now would we all right so this is the enrichment chamber it goes ahead and doubles ores. We're going to go ahead and double those 10 osmium ores into 20 osmium ingot. Well, 20 osmium dust, which I can then smell down into, into ingots. Right, um, oh, we're already running out of power. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, yes, that's why I put the cobblestone in there. There we go. Yeah, uses power up about the same rate that it puts it out. So there's that. Um, survivalist generator only puts out five RF per tick. 
And it seems like that is running down. Let's see, I cannot remember what the... No, this uses 20 RF per tick. So, with that holding steady and that running down, eh, I would guess that we're producing about 10 RF per tick. Which isn't good, but it's it'll work for now. Uh, what I don't think I'll be running anything simultaneously, at least for the moment. Anyway, there. Let's see. We need. Where did all the rest of my stuff go? Well, let's go ahead and dump this stuff in here. Rubies, redstone, iron. Um, rope ladder, and oh yes, more food. <sighs> I suppose I better make some actual chests. Oop. Oop. Okay. Unfortunately, my design choice was not good. I shouldn't have put all those windows in. Because I have a tendency to want to put the machinery up the, up the walls, but I also like to see out. That doesn't work so well. Alright, let's uh, actually... Let's go ahead and take care of some of the food situation. We've now cleared out some area for planting crops. Uh, let's go ahead and use these. Oh. Poop. Two of them. There we go. Need to make ourselves a hoe. Seems that rubies are so incredibly common on this planet that that I can't really find any other use for them except to... Oh, dear. Are we already... Ah, okay. because the nasty monsters are going to go ahead and come out and try and kill us. So, time to go to sleep. And, there we go. So, now, what? We've got our 20 osmium dust. Yay! Okay. And we can't use these magnanimous log logs for fuel. That's annoying. Okay. So, we don't have any... Let's go ahead and clear out some inventory space. There's no point in keeping the phaser on us because neither one of my generators have any place to charge that. Uh, let's, the glass is pretty much useless. Yeah, so is that and that. Okay. We're gonna go over here where there's some trees that are actually useful. And chop down a few. Maybe get some seeds along the way. Right. Birch. Unfortunately, we don't have Vein Miner in this pack, as far as I'm aware. Which makes me sad. I liked Vein Miner, even if it does cost you hunger and can sometimes use up your 
tools rather rapidly if you use it injudiciously. Funny story on that one. I was playing Sky Factory. Not Sky Factory 2, Sky Factory. And I'd set up my platform. I made my platform out of cobblestone. And I just and as you know, may know, in Sky Factory you have to crush gravel and to crush cobblestone into gravel and gravel into sand and sand into dust and sip everything in order to get almost all of your resources. So I lay down a whole bunch of cobblestone to smash into gravel. Well, there was a problem. I held down the vein miner key and suddenly found myself falling, falling, falling deep into the void. Why? Well, because my platform was also made out of cobblestone and vein miner does not discriminate between cobblestone you just put down a minute ago and cobblestone that's been down for a while. It just said, oh, cobblestone? Okay. Smash. And I'm falling in a, along with a whole bunch of gravel. Well, not only do I fall down with a whole bunch of gravel, I repeat the mistake later on. See, I'd gotten smart, I thought. Okay, well, we'll just go ahead and, and do it over here where I don't have any cobblestone. Except that I neglected to take into account that my mob farm, my mob drop tower, was made out of, you guessed it, cobblestone. I had a very good mob drop tower. It was dropping mobs rapidly. And then I vein mined. And guess what happened? That's right, my mob drop tower was open and the mobs were dropping. Except that it hadn't, I hadn't actually managed to vein mine the platform underneath the mob drop tower. So all of a sudden I had mobs that were on half a heart or maybe a little bit, some of the tougher ones were on higher levels of health suddenly coming out and wanting to have a little word with me. I died a lot, repeatedly. And then I died some more while repairing the upper reaches of my mob drop tower because it had been mined about 10 or, 15, 10 or 12 blocks up. The 10 or 12, it would have probably vein mined higher if I'd had a better hammer or if I'd actually completed my tower. And so, anyway, died a lot. Finally, had to go to Peaceful in order to fix everything. So, anyway, the long story short, vein miner can be good and it can be very, very, very bad. I would recommend not if you do have vein miner installed in the mod in a mod pack, don't ever use vein miner with something that's got a large a large amount of uh, of usages. So yeah, that Lumite pickaxe with the diamond and the emerald on it from Tinker's Construct, don't use it. Don't use it to vein mine unless you're absolutely sure it's not going to vein mine down to the center of, of Minecraftia. Anyway, so that's enough of me rambling. That's enough of me uh, grabbing all kinds of stuff. Um, I should let me go ahead and put that birch wood in there. And okay, that should make me a lot of charcoal. Um. I think I'm going to leave it there for the moment. I know I didn't get a lot accomplished. But we will go ahead and get the rest of that that escape pod salvaged. And as you can see, I've got uh, a lot of the the hull material right here. And 
as well as some of the internal stuff and some of the other stuff. Yeah, it's all decorative blocks, but and then laid on top of carpenter's blocks, but hey, had to make it look good, right? Right. Anyway, we'll get that all all cleaned up and and I will go ahead and probably make a couple more items. Probably the next thing on the agenda is an actual good power generation system. Um, while this is certainly good as a beginning power system, um, well, with with the enrichment chamber, it's already quite. I've already got the uh, necessary ores to turn. Oh, maybe I don't have them on me. Oh dear. I put those. In. Oh, I left them over in my escape pod. Well, I'm not gonna. I guess I won't sign off quite yet. Let's go over there. Um, by the way, not not really the kind of person who likes to go ahead and have my character run and jump and all that. Cause, mostly because that watching other Minecrafters do that really kind of makes me nauseous, so I don't do it myself. Ah, there we go. Silver, tin, copper, and iron. And some lead. And some clay. And some seeds. Okay. Some emery. Hmm. Okay, and uh, some rails, but I don't have any use for those quite yet. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it for the moment. Uh, I've got eggs, but there's lots of wild chickens running around. Or at least things that resemble chickens. Just as the things that resemble sheep are very similar to the earth sheep. Another creeper crater. And maybe after we get ourselves a bit more equipment and such, we might go out exploring and see what we can find. There might even be some... Oh, I don't know. Might even be some non-hostile native life. That would be nice. Anyway, that's all for tonight. I think I'm going to go ahead and record this, put it up, and, well, first I'm going to render it and watch some videos, and then I'll put it up, and I will try and get one of these out a little sooner, try and step up my my schedule. Eventually I want to try and get one out every day or so, but until I get myself over my fear of the microphone, that's going to go ahead and... It might be a little bit between recordings. So anyway, that's it all for tonight. I'm going to go ahead and sign off, and I hope everybody has a very, very good day. If you liked what you saw, of course, well, you know how to press the like button. And if you want to see more, you know, please, some encouragement um, would be more than welcome. Have a good night.